What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this simple short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can hide content on different screen sizes. Let's say you want some content to be displayed on large screens, but you don't want it to be visible on small screens. So we are going to make all this possible using the bootstrap grid system and its class attributes or classes, let's say classes, because attributes are different from that. Now, if you are well off with the grid system, you will know that we have the large screen, medium screen, small screen, and extra small screens. And their values range from 1 to 12. So this is where the grid system plays the magic from. And the example below is how you set up a column. You start by this parent div and give it a class of row and close it down here. Inside it, you, gi you give the children or the child div these different classes or perimeters these are like media queries in actual sense just that for us we just have to put in classes and everything will scale by themselves and here we are saying on large screens cover three columns so we say call dash l and here we say column on medium screens still cover three columns and when you reach small screens cover six columns and when you reach extra small screens let's say those devices cover the all grid system so it will cover all the 12 and everything will be fitting on the screen i guess you're understanding i made this tutorial knowing that you already have the best knowledge on the bootstrap grid system so if i'm kind of faster or kind of new to you please make sure you check out other tutorials explain the format how this grid system is well arranged so let's get straight into the code as you can see i'm having some mini project here some project i did back then when i was still at campus it was one of my small projects there using the jquery mobile and jquery ui so and bootstrap so i used bootstrap to give the grid system of the layout as you can see we are having this Please read me well on the left hand side and serving some information here. Here we are having some live filterable search engine. I can write in what I want and it will be displayed to me with some nice looking here layout. These are list views in the jQuery mobile. So that's not the reason why we're here. I just wanted to show you. As you can see on large screen, I'm having this side, this well. On the left hand side but on small screens i wouldn't like this to be displayed i'm going to test this in my browser in my mobile browser emulator as you can see it is displayed and this will be looking weird on the smartphones it won't be good at all so what we are going to do is we are going to add the following classes to them when you want to hide something on large screens you say hidden dash large and that stuff will be hidden on large screens it will be hidden on large screens if you want to be hidden on medium screens you say hidden dash medium so you're getting what i'm telling you if you want it to be hidden on small screens you say hidden dash small screen you want it hidden on extra small screens you say hidden dash extra small so we are going to apply this to extra small because if you saw our device as you saw our device it displayed it's still displaying the same note all well on extra small screens and we don't want this to happen on our website now we are going to go where that well is so this is the well where we are having the content as you can see there are readers and it's the same content we are having here we are having there are readers so we don't want it to be visible on extra small screens those are the size of the phones you'll be using the iphone 10 the i sorry iphone 6 plus 5 most android sizes so i'm just going to say hidden dash 
extra small so we want it to be hidden on extra small devices let's go and reload our page so this is our extra small device let's reload it and see if this node will still be existing refresh and as you can see it is hidden so that's how you can hide content on large screens or small screens depending on what you want the users to find on your web page now i'm going to go to other pages and you see what we are talking about as you can see it's still appearing on large screens but as you saw if we test it on the most android sizes it won't be there so we have hidden it for extra small sizes or screens so it will be consuming a lot of space on the user devices so that's how you can hide content using the bootstrap grid system and yeah make the user experience more cool on your website now let me go to these extra pages inside i'm going to look for html we find html so as you can see still we are having this left hand brief intros about the html5 interviews so this was just a mini project i was playing around with and still if we are to check here if we are to test this on the size of most android phones we are still having this image around and maybe on the small devices i would not like it to be there or displayed so it will be consuming a lot of space the user has to scroll down and find the questions and answers so i may decide to remove some of the content above before the user again scores throughout this long list we can leave out the important ones we are going to leave so the main target we want to remove this image we want it to be displayed only on large screens as you're seeing here it is displayed on large screens airtel first go off so we want this to stay on large screens but on the small screens we don't want it to be displayed as you can see it's still displayed here now i'm going to go in my code i'm going to scroll down no this is jquery mobile so there is only one html document having all those pages you're seeing there's nothing like creating the html dot html dot what questions dot html what css dot html so there's nothing like that and here's our image we want to hide on small screens are you seeing so this is what we want to hide on extra small screen we shall just give it a class so this is the image i'm going to come here and i say class and i say hidden dash extra small i want it to be hidden on extra small devices let us refresh here oh are we on the right image where is this I want this to be hidden on yeah this is the image we're going to say hidden extra small let me save this refresh why is this still displayed oh sorry sorry as you can see i already have a class so i was overwrapping the first class with this one so this one was not working this one was overwrapping it so sorry for that we just have to add another class here you just space and write a new class sorry for that as you saw i already had a class here up and i was adding another and so the first one was yeah overriding this one this one was not accessed so you just have to space and add another class sorry for that once again let me refresh and as you can see it's still displayed on large screens but when you go on the 
small extra screens yeah our image will be removed as you can see yeah so i can go on reducing on the content i don't want to be displayed on the extra small devices to give my users some user nice user experience with my website or web page and yeah that's how you can hide content on different screen sizes let's say you don't want this again to be displayed on large screens what you need to do is come to your code here instead of hidden extra small you say hidden large screens lg refresh and it will not be displayed so we have hidden it on large screens but again to make it visible on extra small screens just say visible oh sorry you just need to space and add another class visible visible dash extra small so we have hidden it on large screens we want it to be visible on extra small screens let us refresh as you can see it is hidden on large screens and we want it visible on extra small screens let us test it on and, and uh, boom on extra small screens it's now visible so that's how you can hide content on different screen sizes hide and show content on different screen sizes using only these classes visible that's when you want something to be visible on the different screen size you want you can say visible large when it was hidden on extra small screens and that's it guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead subscribe to my channel like the video share it on different social medias and i will see you in the next tutorials guys once again hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next tutorials as you can see it is hidden on large screens visible on extra small screens that's it guys peace